transfer to an account. Okay, so let's have an example here. So true or false, a car that is traveling at this constant speed in a circular track can be an inertial reference frame. Justify your answer. Is this true or false? Okay, that's the first question. Um, get a sheet of paper if you want to. Kung, or isipin nyo na lang, check yung sagot nyo. Uh, pwede naman, walang problema dyan. So again, a car that is traveling at constant speed in a circular track can be an inertial reference frame. Is it true or false? And why? Okay. Then, second question. Like a virgin, which of the following systems in an inertial reference frame has or have a zero net force? First, a train moving in straight path at the constant speed of 4 meters per second. Second, a stone moving in a circular path at a constant speed of 2 meters per second. And number three, a box moving in a straight path at the increasing speed with a rate of 2 meters per second squared. Which among the following is an inertial reference frame that has or have a zero net force? Is it one only, two only, one and three only, one and two only, or one and three only? Okay, please check. Okay, and then third question, contact in Jiangxi force, which of the following either are contact forces? This is just a review. Uh, one, is it normal force? B, is it tensile force? Or three, is it weight? A, is it normal force? B, um, two only, so tensile force lang ba? Letter C, weight lang ba? Or letter D, normal and tensile forces. So, okay, so yon. Again, the first question is a true or false question. The second is this one, and the third is, this one. Okay, nasagutan na ba? Nasagutan na ba? Yes, sir. Dali lang, di ba? It's all, by the way, these questions will come out in the exam definitely. Um, this, not, of course, the yung, yung, yung isok tanong, but these types of questions will definitely come out in the exam. Sure yun. Lumalabas to sa exam. So, paki-aral. Paki-aral ha, minsan nakakalito, nakakalito rin siya. Okay? Okay, let's answer. For the first one, True or false, a car that is traveling at the constant speed in a circular track can be an, in, can be an IRF. Is it true or false? True or false. False, correct. Why? Because, sir, may... because what? Sir, my acceleration. Yeah. Exactly. Because the circular track here, um, this means that the object is continuously changing its direction. And therefore, since there's changing direction, there is acceleration, even though the, the speed is not um, changing and hence it's false. So, tama? Makuha yon? Makuha? Makuha? Yes, okay, dali lang, di ba? And then second, the answer here is A. Why? Hindi ko pala na-anime ito, pero sige. Why is it A? So, siya lang yung zero acceleration. Yes. Again, circular path, it has acceleration, it's changing your direction. Of course, kung nag-change yung speed, and ako, kita ng acceleration dito. Therefore, 3 is also not part of an IRF. Not an IRF. Therefore, the answer is A. Okay. And then let number 3, contact and force. The answer is normal and tensional or tensile forces. Weight is a non-contact force. Again, kahit malayo yung Earth's object, weight will still act on that object. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong? May tanong dito? Wala? Wala, no? Wala? Okay. Answer. 